Hi guys, uh, I wanted to do another uh, quick update video. I'm actually separating uh, the videos. So this is an update on the cucumbers, which is also day 49 in the cucumbers. They run the same as the peppers. They were all planted together. Uh, here's the two cucumbers. They were moved separately to uh, five gallon uh, bucket deep water culture systems. Um, they've been up and running now. Uh, I don't know how long, but I moved them from the peppers. And as you can see, they're growing good. Um, they're kind of chasing the light up there. It's one of my trash can lights from another video. Um, but they seem to be doing really well. I got a lot of flowers, a lot of female flowers uh, that are everywhere. As you can see, I got a brush. I've been self-pollinating. Uh, hopefully that goes well. I got some small cucumbers that are starting to uh, grow here. One of them's down. Let's see if we can see. There's one down in there. Small one starting to go. There's another one right back in there. Those are the first ones I pollinated. Hopefully, we'll see if you know my cucumber love is good enough to get these things going. But uh, the trellises seem to be working good. I'm training them as they go. Um, they're looking real good. Now these I'm getting ready to switch over to Maxi Bloom. I have them currently still on Maxi Grow, but the next time I change out the water, I'm going to switch them over to Maxi Bloom. Uh, I was a little concerned with how the roots would take because the plants were pretty established in that other deep water culture system. And I was a little concerned on how well the roots would take because I kind of just shoved them down in there. There was so much roots. But let me see if I can do this. Oh, I'm caught up under the lip there. There we go. Let me see here. Get, get a little video down in there. If you can see, the roots are starting to come out of the bucket nice, drop down in good. So my concerns were kind of, you know, unfounded, I guess. I was concerned, you know, things were going to be a little rough. Initially, I had some discoloration of some leaves, uh, but it seems to have uh, taken off. For those that you that don't know, which, you know, maybe there is people that don't know. I didn't know at one time. There's different flowers on a cucumber. As you can see there, that flower with the long stem, that would be called the male. And the flower that actually has the little fruit on it or the cucumber on it. Let me see if I can get in here. There we go. These ones, them are the females. So what you would do is you take your little paintbrush, get in that male flower. Give him a little brush on his uh, little uh, receptor there to get the pollen, which there's pollen on there. I doubt you'll be able to see it. And then you bring it over around to a female flower, and then you get in there, and you just rub her center with that little pollen brush, and do that a couple times, bounce around, and hopefully, you know, you'll know if the fruit begins to grow, or the cucumber begins to grow before it drops, that you've done well. Um, also, real quick, I did a little addition here to the buckets. I added these sleeves, which are just a black plastic bag that I had taped with some black duct tape. And then I untie and lift the sleeve, and then it shows me my uh, nutrient level. Um, so we're day 49. Things are looking good. Uh, I'll do another update soon. Uh, please, if you're watching the video and hasn't, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you did subscribe recently, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, continue to watch. I'm going to do a lot more videos. If you have any questions, comments, post them, please. That's how we learn. And uh, once again, thanks, guys, for watching the videos. We'll catch you next time.